Hi, this is Lynn Langett, and I'm going to tell you in this short video how to use uh, Google's BigQuery to execute queries on their cloud against very large amounts of data and return the results back into uh, Microsoft Excel. So, uh, first of all, what is BigQuery? BigQuery, as it's showing here, is a developer service and it allows you to run SQL-like queries against very large, really huge data sets. Um, you can put the data there yourself or you can use some of their sample data to just try it out. There is a browser tool, there is also a command line tool, but most importantly there's, a, there's an API. So um, just to show you a bit more about this, uh, the idea is that, and this is the browser tool, that you can analyze uh, massive amounts of data um, up to uh, you know, billions of rows. And here they're showing you the SQLite query, the speed, and the result. And uh, here is the API for um, learning more about the command line tools and uh, the uh, API, I should say the URL. So to actually see what this looks like in the browser tool, um, what I've done is I've created a, a Google project here, API project, and I've taken some of the sample data. So this is just, they have things like a GitHub timeline, the Shakespeare um, set, so on and so forth. And what I've done is I have um, not uh, loaded, table, loaded table data from uh, just the wild, but I've just copied it. So just to go through this and show you what it looks like, you load uh, table data, then you create a schema which just, uh, it's a comma separated uh, schema. And uh, then when you're done with that, then your data will show up under your project if either you load it or you uh, share the data set. So uh, once you do that, then you can uh, run these queries. So for the purposes of time, I'll just take this one here. So select the word um, and the, the, the information, the corpus from this schema, not adventure work, Shakespeare word output limit 1000. Go ahead and run that and then that's going to show you the um, output there. You can download a CSV or save as table. So that's the basic functionality. If you want to understand more about the technical underpinnings, you want to read this white paper from Google about, uh, it's called Dremel. So as it says, scalable interactive ad hoc query system for analysis of read-only nested data. So um, it's, a, it's a kind of a complement to MapReduce, if you will. Um, what I want to show you, though, is a new piece of functionality in addition to the command line tools, the web browser, and the API, which is the BigQuery connector for Microsoft Excel. So uh, the way that it works is uh, you connect through a web query file, run your query, and then you have their data inside of Excel. Uh, it's designed to work with Excel 2007 or higher. Um, I'm actually using Excel 2010 on the Mac. Um, and then there is uh, instructions over on this page. So uh, what you do is uh, you create a key which expires. So uh, there's a key that you'll see. Uh, then you download the IQY uh, file. And then as it says here, you create a worksheet and paste uh, data of the project ID, the unique key, and the query. And just to be complete here, the project ID is related to this project. It's the name of the project. Um, and then the query is, uh, let me go back over here, this is the query that you're using, and then the unique key is generated by uh, this page. Um, so the process is, uh, you know, dependent on Windows or Mac. So uh, within Excel, you go to data, get external data, run saved query. So I'll show you what this looks like in Excel. So you have, um, you have the project ID, there's my project ID, there's my key, there's my query. And then you go to data, get external data, and uh, then you're going to say run saved query. And then you're going to go and find that query. So I'll go to where that query is here. And it's the I, you have to say all files, the IQY, and say get data. And then you're going to say where you want to put that. It's a new sheet. And then you're going to go and configure the parameters. And this is because of the text of the file you downloaded. So you'll say query, and then you'll say get the value from the sheet. And then, you know, select your query there. And then you'll say uh, project, get your value from the sheet. Pretty obvious um, project there. And then you'll say uh, key, and you'll get that key which expires from the BigQuery website itself. 
and you'll say that, and then you'll say OK, and then you'll say put this into a new sheet and say OK, and this is going to give us just 10 results. We'll say OK, and then it's going to take a minute to return. It's connecting out to BigQuery, so it's being exposed basically as, as a, a web service, if you will, and there it shows the data. And just to show that this is actually live, if I save this, I go back and I change the query itself to instead return 100, and then I save it, and then I say refresh, and then I go back over to the sheet. In a minute it will refresh, and there we will have 100. So again, this is a really interesting sort of functionality. This is uh, BigQuery, which is a, a service that you uh, pay for from Google, um, which allows you to uh, either interactively through Excel or programmatically uh, through the API um, work with a massive data sets. So this is Lynn Langett, and for all things data, please follow me on Twitter at uh, Lynn Langett or go to my website at www.lynnlangett.com. Thank you.